hi friends. This isn't going to be like a usual vlog where it's um, all of my clients in a day. I just decided to do one client because why not? You know, just changing it up. So these are the nails she came in with. Um, I did these maybe like five or six weeks ago so you can kind of see the grow out and we do have a couple casualties, a couple broken nails, but we're gonna fix those in this video. We're gonna get her all prepped and ready and we're gonna do some velvet nails, AKA magnet nails whatever you want to call it. So please enjoy uh, me walking you through my client's appointment. And if you're like, oh wait, I want to know how to do those nails that she's removing, don't worry, I have it filmed. You can click this video when you're done with this and I walk you through how I did them because they were really cute. They were kind of like cute pink pastel cloud marble vibes. Yeah. So first I'm just removing the previous gel manicure and if you ever like, hey, I wonder what that is, I wonder what drill bit that is, what everything that she's using is, it's probably linked in the description. And if it's not linked in the description, then feel free to be like, hey, excuse me, you didn't link it. And then I'll be like, oh, oops, beep boop bop, okay. And then that's how it works around here. You know, that's how, that's how we get things done. You know, clear communication. So I'll see you in a second just to fix the broken nails. All right, so let's fix these two broken nails. I already sized them and listen, okay, I'm using the Cocoas Gelip Tips. Um, they are already pre-buffed or like pre-etched in the middle, but listen, don't give me a hard time because I buff it anyway. You don't have to, you literally do not have to, but I do it anyway because I'm superstitious, okay? So just like, don't be like, what is she doing? You know, don't. It's just, I don't know. I, I just have issues. Like I, I just need to do it. So this is how you apply the gelip tip. This is how Cocoas educates to do the gelip tip. So first things first, I did apply a base layer to the natural nail and I cured it. I just applied a thin layer and I used my base coat, the clear NTB clear, the Nail Thoughts Base Clear. Then you're gonna coat it with a thin layer on the inside of the tip and while that's wet, you just scrape it on the end. So it creates that little pool, all right? This is the hardest part that I took me forever to get down. So watch my hand placement. So I'm grabbing the finger and I have my thumb right there ready for action. I'm rolling the tip on and using my thumb to press, so I do one hand. I'm holding it with one hand and curing it with the Cocoas Milk Cake Lamp because you wanna be pressing it while it's curing, otherwise it'll just pop off and not work. So yeah, obviously we have another nail to do so you can kind of see it again, but I'm just squeezing, squeezing and moving the light around a little bit to make sure it's nice and like cured enough and then I cure it fully in my light after this. Okay, broken nail number two, we're doing it again. Coating, I already have the thin coat on my natural nail cured, and then we're coating the inside of the tip with a thin layer, coating it, coating it, then taking a little scoop and scraping it on the edge to make a little pool. Also, the little milk cake, I did more just because I was scared it wasn't enough. Uh, the milk cake lamp is, uh, motion sensor so it's kind of nice you don't have to worry about like pressing a button so if you were doing it on your own you just like hover over the sensor and you don't need an extra hand like if you were doing it on yourself I don't know you know what I, you know what I mean so watch this like I don't have to press a button it just boop it just turns on so I'm holding it with the thumb you can watch my hand placement again you can do a little rewind because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show it again <laughs> The problem with doing these voiceovers is like when I don't stop like recording and I don't do little snippets, then I just start talking annoyingly. Okay. 
All right, and then once all of the nails were fixed, nothing was broken, I applied base coat, I did all of the prep work, everything was great, and now it's time for the color that I'm gonna put underneath the magnet gel because I want it to have like a little tint of color. So we're gonna use a new color that is coming out with volume three. Look how cute, it's like a cute, um, kind of bluey, purpley periwinkle. I guess you would call it a periwinkle. Um, this color is going to be called Lazy Day because you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of like sitting on your couch, playing like on your Switch or just playing any sort of like video game, especially like Animal Crossing, like the cute pastel -y color skies and just cute cozy games. That's what it reminds me of. So yeah, so now I am going to do two coats of it. Um, because I want it to really pop under the magnet gel. Like I want the magnet gel to really show off a little bit of a periwinkle vibe. So yeah, enjoy um, watching the application of this color. It's very creamy and so opaque. I love applying it. All right, so now we're gonna use the Cocoa is Down Under Planet in Universal Rose, which is kind of like a pinky hued silver vibe. And I'm gonna take my application brush and just apply a nice thin-ish coat over my cured um, color. And the thing with these magnet gels is the magnet is basically moving the particles around um, and you're kind of like making them almost stand up to make them shiny. So it's kind of like hard to explain. You'll be able to see it. Um, but let me just tell you, I, it truly took up until this appointment to actually figure out what I was doing with the magnet gel. I have watched so many tutorials and I feel like I still couldn't master it. But today was the day and I think I really figured it out. Um, I, my issue was definitely the magnet angle. I was going way too crazy with the magnet angle and then it ended up just moving the particles just all the wrong ways so they wouldn't they weren't shiny like it felt like the particles weren't turning on like a light you know like these these nails are definitely very bright like the the glitter is very bright and shiny and i feel like i wasn't getting that and it was because i wasn't getting my magnet angle right so pay attention to my placement um i'm going in sideways with the magnet i'm not going over it i'm not going under it um because the magnet's pretty strong so you wanna make sure and you kinda of get the right angle. And all I'm doing is kind of taking around, watch it move. You see those particles move? Oh my God, so satisfying. Um, so yeah, just go around the nail sideways with ma this magnet specifically. Again, I don't know how other magnets work, but just keep experimenting. And I think the issue is a lot of magnets are different. So all the tutorials are kind of different with their magnet placement, but this specific magnet, go sideways, go in sideways. I sometimes, you can kind of see with the pinky, I don't know, it looks a little angled the way I go in, kind of moving it around. It's just mess around with it. Um, but yeah, I go left, right, top, bottom, and, and you're gonna see, I'm not gonna edit it too much, but you're gonna see how long it takes me. <laughs> I'm sure other people go faster, but this is just, <laughs> this is just how I did it. And it took a while, but it was worth it. So please enjoy and just keep an eye on my magnet placement. Thank you. 
This one was interesting because I think I just was thinking I was going sideways, but I was really kind of see that hard angle that I was doing with the magnet and it wasn't working for me. Like it wasn't like the particles just weren't turning on. That's all, the only way I can describe it. The particles like weren't turning on and looking at it now, I'm like, oh, okay. That's why, because my angle was so intense for no reason. I, I wasn't sticking to my sideways. And so the best part about it is if you're, um, stuff isn't kind of turning on or it's not working or you feel like you overdid it with the magnet you can literally just take your brush brush the gel through again and it almost readjusts the particles and then you can start over see just like this Uh-huh. Oh wow, yeah you can. It's so cool. Mm-hmm. 